Hey, good morning. Good morning. You're on with Big J. And let's talk. You know what time it is. I'll be right back after this. All right, all right, you're on with us this morning. This morning, I want to talk about Brandon Ingram and Lonzo Ball. And the reason that I want to bring this topic up, because as I look at the trade rumors and the things that were going on, I didn't hear too many people talk about one nuance that could affect Lonzo um, on either end, and that's his child. What a lot of people don't realize or think about when a player has to move and uproot their families, that's a difficult challenge. Most players who have older children and have been married for a while often leave their families in their town that they prefer and then they come back on the off season. But for him to have a young child and have to move around, that's a difficult thing because he wants to see his child because that is not his family according to the understanding of marriage. So what we what we're trying to say is what Brandon Ingram is going to talk about in this video, but you have to listen very closely to hear it. He's trying his best to stay on track and on mark, but you're going to hear him talk about how difficult it is to leave your family. Bring some toughness to the team, of course. Spreading the floor, being able to knock down the three ball a little bit, and being able to cause some mismatches. Um, playing at his position and he's able to guard a lot of positions on the basketball floor. So he brings a lot of versatility ability to our team. Of course, he's been in the league for, for a while now. So he brings some, some veteran um, leadership that we need on our team to, to, to push forward our young guys. Hey, hey, Brandon, it's uh, Andrew from ESPN. Um, with, with it being such a, like a crazy deadline and things like that. And I know you've, You've been with Lonzo a while. You guys have been through trade rumors <laughs> for uh, this isn't the first time you've done it. Do you do you talk to him at all yesterday? Do you try to uh, do you stay out of his way? Like how do you how do you handle that when when he's kind of in the in the in the the rumor mill and things like that? Well, I try to stay out of stay out the way. Um, I know as a player, you have a, a million people trying to talk to you about different things. That, uh, the way that you should react or the way that you should feel. But uh, just uh, give him his space and his time. We all know that this, this is the business of basketball. So whatever happens, happens. But we control what we can control. And we just keep pushing forward in our games and in our lives. And um, But I just I just let him have his space and uh, just let him think about what he want to think about. Uh, B.I., Dan talked a little bit yesterday about just how social media has, has made it a lot harder for players you know during this time of year um i know you know it wasn't necessarily you this year but you've been in kind of that eye of the storm before i mean how how tough of it is it to just be in that when you know it's hard not to look at your phone and see like a rumor or whatever well for me uh it's a little different for me man i'm i just worry about the things that i can control on the basketball floor because this is this is the thing that i love to do of course we know that we can be anywhere, any given day. We can be in another city playing the game of basketball at a trade deadline, but it's something that we love to do. So it's the business of basketball. I just look at how I can get back on the floor and just be the best that I can be. But it, but it is tough. It is tough for, for families, of course, when, when you know the next 48 hours that you can be in another city and, and having a transition and having a build a new home and everything else but other than that this game of basketball and it's just something that we love to do yeah what's up bi my bad if I, you answered this already but uh what, what the way things that he were heating up around zoe's name you know the past couple of days was there a point where you felt like you might have played your last game with him before the deadline and now that he's Still here, I guess, what do you think about the potential of being able to build with him as the point guard here in New Orleans? I was hoping for all positive things. Even um, with his little, I, I think it's hip or, or whatever it was, um, I, I was just hoping that I would get a chance to keep continue to play with him. 
of course. So uh, he's been a guy that's been by my side working out every single day um, that we step on the basketball floor, every time that we step on the court for practice. And even sometimes in our pregame ritual, uh, we're out there together. So um, I was I was just hoping for all good things for him to be back here. We know how valuable he is as a point guard for for not only the team, but for the NBA. See what I'm telling you? B.I., the last part he said before the gentleman from three-point conversion asked him a question. He said, it's difficult when you have a family and you have to uproot your family and you have to take your family to another city. See, these are some of the nuances media, old media, does not pay attention to. And when you start to throw people's names around and do certain things, just because you want your media title to be looked at and observed, or you want an audience to follow you, I think that's wrong. That's just my opinion. But I think it's wrong because this young man has been through a lot. All three of those guys went through a lot. Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, um, my other man that that came from the Lakers, they all went through a lot. He even went to the Pelicans and said, man, whatever y'all do, please don't trade me. Josh Hart, don't trade me. <laughs> don't trade me. So what, what does that tell you? That tell you that these guys have been through a lot while they were playing with the Lakers. And now they come over here. If you notice, Lonzo hasn't said too much. You know why? Because I believe truly in his heart. Pelicans, if you give me $20 million a year, I'll stay here. Because that means I don't have to take my daughter anywhere else. I'll be here. I'll play here. Just make sure that you keep me here so I'm not uprooting my family again. See, that matters. No one's talking about that narrative. Oh, well, Lonzo, man, he's too good. Man, he needs to get $20 million. Man, Lonzo, man, man, they talking about giving him 30, 30, 30 14 to $15 million. But watch that stuff, man. Look at the when you're a grown man and you're in the reality of life and you have a family and other intangibles that are part or important to your life. You don't got time for that, man. What this dude is trying to figure out, where do we go now? What happens with my more family? More so than now. anything is family security. Yes, the NBA will provide it. But at times, man, the NBA provides also for you to have loss of time with your children with your wife and other individuals who are involved, with, even with your family. So so what is he saying? What am I saying? Brandon Ingram alluded to it, and he said it at the end of his comments. He said, and then it's hard, man. You got 48 hours to get your family together, get them on a plane. Or so these that. are the intangibles that I'm seeing and that I'm hearing that probably make it difficult that for just any my opinion. Hey, do me a favor. Make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel. Not only subscribe, but do me a favor, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, let us know what you like and what you don't like, and we'll do our best to fix it for you. Because it's all about team, and there's no I in team. The acronyms are together, everyone achieves more. You've been a part of Big J this morning. Let's talk as we do. Have a blessed day. Peace and blessings.